All right, so you're a beginner, right? You're a beginner. Great, you're in the right place. This is the Self Talk Creative. My name is Joshua F. I'm a self-taught video editor, videographer, photographer, 3D designer, and also illustrator. And I'm here to help you guys that are beginning. I've been doing this for 10 years. I've done music videos, animations, commercials, food photography for a lot of the top restaurants in the United States. And I'm here to help you guys and show you guys how you can do all this by learning this on Line. So I'm here to help you guys use some of the things that I use to get me in the room with a lot of these different companies and just show off your portfolio to where you can go out here, man, and you can do this thing part time. You can do it as a hobby and you can do this full time, man. And I'm telling you because I've done it. So I want to do this for you. So one of the biggest softwares that I use is actually you already know Adobe, Adobe. Adobe. I love Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects. I use them all. And all of them I taught myself by looking at tutorials. A lot of tutorials didn't work. Some did. But what I'm doing, I'm taking some of the things that I learned that really help elevate my creative game. And that's being self-taught. And I'm here to help you guys with this. So we're going to have fun. I'm going to have animations going around. We're just going to have a good time. And I want you guys to feel comfortable man like subscribe i'm new to this please send your support this is have fun learning and taking your game to the next level what we're going to get in today we're going to get into premiere pro 2020 and premiere pro 2020 is the editing software that i use the most and i'm just going to give you guys a fast quick run through what premiere pro 2020 looks like this is straight from the basic please do not be scared follow along if you got any questions or anything like that please leave them down in the comment like i said remember to like and subscribe and then i'm going to post other tutorials that are going to go a little bit more in depth in these beginner stages of your new creative career so let's jump right into it all right guys welcome to premiere pro 2020 so when you open up premiere pro 2020 you're going to be right here in the home screen this is a very basic tutorial you remember this so what i'm gonna do is just kind of just show you guys a quick overview of just a basic editing chop down and render so basically when you when you get to the front screen right here you have some of your past projects right here that you can kind of click on and go back to but since this is a new project you're just gonna click right here the new project right under you do have open project where you can go into other uh, projects that you already worked on but like I said this is be just like if it's your first time opening up Premiere Pro 2020 so you would just hit new project from here look right here you always want to name your project uh, so I'm just gonna say beginner um, exit out I'm gonna say beginner test and then right under you have your location you always want to pick a location that you want your project to be saved at so usually what I do I already have a folder already ready uh, to save to so I'm just gonna go to browse and it it up um so i'm gonna go to desktop beginner test this is the file i already created so i can click that and then i always set up three different folders um, for each project which is the asset folder the project folder and the render folder and the asset will be some of the you know footage i may use for b-roll and things like that i would already drop into the asset folder or if i went out and did like some video work i would already have some of the clips in the asset folder you know sometimes i do sometimes i don't but i just use the asset folder for i may uh, hop into photoshop and do some work in photoshop and i may drop those photoshop files right here into assets um, but under that you have your project file this is where i will save my projects uh at, and then under that I have render so after i render it the project I will have the renders go here so I'm just gonna hit project here and select folder I'm not gonna go over this right here this is uh, something that I'm gonna go over in later tutorials like I said this is very quick overview of pretty much like your first time going into Premiere Pro 2020 uh, just to get you started so you will hit OK 
and when you open up the project right here mine may be a little different than yours um, but when you open it up you are now in the editing um, default setup so you know you have your source clip here your source area here you have your uh, your program monitor here you have your timeline here and you have your bins where a lot of your footage and uh, your effects and everything will be so right here if I want to start editing I would just import media to start and you can just do that just by double clicking right here and then uh, you can just go I'm just gonna go into a uh, go into my folder self talk folder and then I have some raw footage uh, right here so I'm just gonna take this raw footage hit open and now it brings it into the actual project um, from here I can either just click it and drag it over to the timeline and now you have the whole clip right here on the timeline uh, where you can start manipulating but you but you may not want this whole clip you know you may not want to bring over this whole clip you may just want a certain part of this clip so if you ever want to undo anything you can just go up here to edit and you can hit undo or you can hit Control Z I'm gonna have a further tutorial in-depth tutorial on shortcuts but for now we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way because this is your first time going in Premiere Pro and doing it like a big boss okay in a self taught boss you know what I'm saying so we're gonna hit undo so and I'm gonna undo that so uh, right now if I want to make a sequence out of this clip I can just uh, which it already match up the ratio and everything like that uh, I can just right click over the footage and I can go right here to new sequence from clip when I hit that it drags it over and it automatically fits the actual program monitor and aspect of this video uh, to the actual raw footage all right so one more time i'm gonna go back again let's go to edit go to undo go to undo again so like i said if it's just a certain part of this clip that i want i don't want the whole clip i just want just a certain part of the clip it is a way you can do that what you want to do is just double click on this footage bow so now here you go so it's in your source monitor so right here I can manipulate and I can cut out a piece of this actual footage um, before I drag it over into the actual timeline because once you put a you put a clip over to the timeline your timeline is going to and your computer is going to start trying to render that footage which you can start slowing it down so why would you render uh, you know why would you drag over a three minute clip over to the timeline when you only need 10 seconds of it so what you would do is you would just take this right here and you just bring it down so say for example I just want from here to here all I have to do is just go drag it down go right here to mark in and then drag it to the right and then right here mark out so now what's highlighted is just what I want to use uh, I'm gonna go over a lot of these different um, features down here in later tutorials but for right now this is what we're gonna do so I can just take my mouse hover it over the clip and then I can just drag it onto the timeline so now the timeline is just giving me the part that I selected over here so I don't have to worry about it having to render unnecessary parts of this clip so we're gonna rewind so I'm gonna go back to undo so say for example this clip doesn't have audio uh, stock doesn't have audio attached to it right now but say for example if I just wanted to use the audio from this part of the clip I may want to use it for some uh, atmosphere uh, or some sound effects and things like that right here I can go right here where it says drag audio only I can grab that and I can drag that over to the timeline and it would just put the audio right here next to it to the left you have drag video only I can just click right here and I can just drag the video only if I want to take the audio and 
the video at the same time you would just take the arrow have it right over the clip and you want to drag it so there you go and now you ready to make some magic you know this is a self-taught thing right here you know so you're going to go right here so you have your different tools i'm not going to go over all the tools i'm just going to go over the three that you're going to use very often and this is pretty much um just the basics on the different tools that you have right here you have your selection tool you have your razor tool and you have your type tool so you know your selection tool is just you use that to select you know you can drag the clips around you can move it around you know using that actual um selection tool then you have the razor tool the razor tool allows you to cut this footage up you know just like a piece of pie you want to just cut it up you know and then you can just go undo you know you can use the cut tool and then you have uh the type tool once you hit the type tool you can go right over the footage right here in the program monitor click it and then you can start you know begin there um, and then now you have some text it creates a bar right here over the clip um so it you know it layers it it layers it so whatever's on top you're going to see in front so right now what's on top is the text so the text is going to be uh, visible so from here you know you can kind of drag this out if you want the text to be throughout the whole clip or if you just want it for a shirt certain part of the clip you can just hit play right here and then once you go and then it disappears you know you can drag it out uh, how you want it um, and then with the selection tool you can just hit the selection tool and just click the actual text and now you can kind of just hold the mouse and you can kind of drag it you know where you want it to go but another way you can do it you can always go up here into the source monitor and you're going to have your edit controls this is very important and i'm gonna go over a lot of this in later tutorials like keyframing and you know animating certain features and things like that but you know for example if i click if i take my selection tool and i click over the footage you know right here it says position so i can just take this cursor and this mouse and i can kind of just you know you can move this clip around you know how you want but and one thing that's cool is that say for example you make a mistake and then your clip is like that and you're like oh man how do I get this back you know you can go back like this but you may be like sitting like man how do I get it perfect you know you can always hit right here to the right you have reset parameter you click that and it just automatically resets it or you can go up to edit again hit undo and you can um, go down to scale when you go to scale you can just take your arrow and slide it left to right and it takes it in and out you know makes it bigger or smaller or you can just hit the arrow to the left of scale and you can just drag this down you know and you can always say if you just want to go back to 100 you can just highlight the number and you can just type in 100 hit enter and it brings it right back to a hundred aspect um you know you can take it down you have rotate you know you can rotate as well and we're going to go over anchor point uh, points and and the opacity when we go into a lot of the effects that i use for a lot of videos and things like that um and then you know you can do the same thing with the actual text so if you take your selection tool and you just click on uh text the text bar now it switched from you manipulating the footage to you manipulating the text so same thing you know you will go to position and now i can move it around left to right you know up or down and then if i want it back to where it was just kind of just hit the reset parameter and then i can do the same thing with scale again in and out in and out make it big you know and um y'all gonna love keyframes keyframes you can animate this you can make it move from smaller to big things like that and then you have your uh rotating tool and then right under it you're gonna see your text uh folder so you can just hit the drop down box there 
and with the selection tool you can just select the actual text and then you can change the font so if i want you know bold now it's bold if i want uh you know if i don't want this font at all i want the impact font right here you can just boom now you you know you just you, know, you can just move it around how you want to you know or you can use the scale tool to go in and out um you know you sometimes if you hit this drop down it may say regular it may say bold you know to give you different ideas and i'm gonna go over a lot of these too when it comes to text and intros later but like i said this is very basic and just getting you started this is your first time into premiere pro 2020 so this is just a quick overview of some of the things we're going to go more in depth with later on in other tutorials so when you go down even further you have feel so feel is where you can change the actual color so say if i want to go with like a blue or something you know i can just click blue hit okay and now it changed the text to blue you know you can um you can add a stroke so a stroke is just an outline around the text and if you go to the right of that right here where it says 1.0 if you slide that over as you can see now that stroke gets thicker you know and you can add back Rounds, you can add a shadow it's all different things that we're going to go over in further tutorials uh, to manipulate text so uh, the next tool will be like the chop tool you know I call it the chop tool but it's called really called the razor tool if you want to be you know politically correct uh, so I'm going to go to the razor tool so you know you can just go down the timeline right here at the bottom where you see this little uh, indicator or this little uh, slider right here if you just grab one of the circles on the left or the right you can just drag this in and out so you can see a little better and also too if you want to see a little up more up close of this part right here this monitor you see where it's blue highlighted you can just take your uh, arrow right here and you can just drag it left to right you know up or down so you can see more of your timeline so with this razor tool you can just you know I can just go here clip it so now it's cut now you got your first cut so now it's not one clip anymore it's a it's two clips now and then I can just keep on dragging it and I'm like oh yeah I want this part boom I want to cut it right here keep going you know I want to cut it right here so now what I may want to do is just kind of take these clips out like for example this one right here if I want this one out of here I don't want this part anymore I can uh, right click over this clip and then go to ripple delete so now as you can see it took that clip out and it drug all of the other two clips that were left to intersect with the this clip so if I go to undo you can see it so there's the clip redo boom now it's gone and it kind of it kind of pushed these clips uh, up so now you know you can just hit the play button up here and you kind of see boom now I go to one clip then boom you know if I want to make it a little more dramatic you know take the razor tool again and, and chop some more off the top you know <laughs> so then I can just right click again and then go to ripple delete boom and now hit play and boom uh, now I've chopped these different clips and you know now you see that the text is a little bit longer than you know what I want you know you may not want it to be this long so like I said you always want to select the the bar and then you can just go to the end of the clip and you can just drag it down you can drag it down to however you want so now if i want to add some audio you know same thing if you want to add some audio to this you would just go right here down to the uh to the uh, project bin and you would just double click doom, doom. 
And now I can go in the data, I go in my folders, and I can go to stock music. And I'm just gonna take this song right here and hit open. So now it drops this audio clip right into the bin. So now I can just double click the audio just like I did with the video and go right here into the source monitor. And now if I just want to just, I want just the beginning part of this actual song. Mm-hmm, okay. Yep, that's where I want it. So I can just hit the cursor here, go right here to mark in, boom, and then drag it out, go to mark out, boom. So now I just want this part. I don't want none of this. I just want this right here. So now I would just go to drag audio only, hold it, and bring it right down. So now hit play. There you go. And then I can just, like I said, this audio clip is way too long. So let me just hold it and bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. So now you got audio with it, you have text with it, you can chop down some footage. So you want to add some effects. So right here to the left, you have your effects bin. So you can hit effects and you're going to have so many different effects right here. And I'm going to go over a lot of these effects in other tutorials. But you know, you have your presets right here. You have your uh, your coloring tools. You have your audio effects. You can manipulate the audio. Um, you have your audio transitions. You have your video effects where you can distort different. You can distort the footage. And you have video uh, transitions. You're going to love transitions. I'm going to go into transitions a lot more down the line. But just to give you kind of a, a sneak peek, you know, you can go to dissolve right here. And I'm going to do a cross dissolve. So all you got to do is just highlight cross dissolve and bring it over between two cut clips. So right here, as you can see, it says cross dissolve right here. So if I bring this clip back and I actually hit play, once it gets there... You see, it kind of gave like a little, you know, I'm going to drag this down so you can see a little better right here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scrub it back again. And I'm going to hit play. And once it gets to the actual cross dissolve, you're going to see like a little trippy effect. And you can use these for a lot of different, in a lot of different ways. You know, so that's kind of how a lot of the effects work. And then you go into, you know, I have like, you know, presets organized for color correction that I use. So, you know, you, I have it broken down by like cinematic color correction. I have classic code. So say if I shoot something in the middle of the winter and I want to give it like a real cold uh, feeling and attitude, I have a lot of cold um, presets already that can kind of, I can kind of, you know, you can kind of jump start. It kind of helps with your workflow, makes your turnaround time a lot quicker. So right now I'm gonna go to like, you know, I'm gonna go to cinematic, and uh, here, you know, you can just drag this over. You can kind of see some of the previews of the, you know, how it looks, you know. So I'm gonna go for since this one is kind of already a lighter clip or a more flat clip, I'm gonna go with a more contrast clip. So I can just click here and drag it over to whatever part of the clip I want. So now, as you can see, it kind of darkened it up some. Um, and then I'm gonna go into later on how to change some of those. Um, effects you know if i want this to be more saturated if i want to make it more uh brighter you know i can do that for example you know what i'm gonna go and show you real quick so let's go into a window and then i'm gonna go into workspace and i'm gonna go to uh color so now it changed the layout to color so i can just go right over here to the right side drag this over and as you can see right here i have a panel of different ways to manipulate the color of the clip that I have selected so if I want to make the temperature more you know this is more of a cold temperature if I want to warm this up I can go right here to temperature and I can just slide that over and as you can see now the clip gets warmer um, if 
you know, if I don't like this and I want to try something different, like I said, always remember you can go to edit, undo, or you can hit control Z and it brings you back to where you started. Uh, if you want to adjust like the exposure, you want to make it brighter, darker, you can do that as well. Um, you have your contrast, you have your highlights, your shadows. I'm going to go through a lot of this. And when it comes to the color correction tutorials um, later on down the line, but I'm just trying to give you just an overview and they do have some um preloaded LUTs and that's kind of like what I showed you over here when I had my stuff organized into cinematic horror they have their own here and you can actually use uh Premiere Pro's own and then you can go down to uh say if you want to go to get more creative because like this is just a basic correction tab so this is just some of the basic corrections but say if you want to get more in depth into your color correction you can go right here to creative and now you know you have different looks right here you know these are a lot of preloaded looks that already come into premiere pro 2020 you can select these if you want to use any of these as well and you can uh manipulate those by adding like a, a faded film or you can sharpen it more vibrant you know saturation I'm gonna go into uh, curves and color real wheel and uh, you know vignette and like I'm saying you guys just go in play around you know when you get your clips you know go um, you can go and just Google free stock footage if you don't have any footage to kind of play around with I can drop a link down in the description of one of the places I go to grab just some stock footage to play around with to test some things with so you have your text you have different clips cut and chopped down you have some transitions some audio so now you want to render out so you want to post it on Instagram you want to stunt like man look I'm editing that y'all uh, so you can just go right here to file and go down to export and then hit media and when you hit media it's going to pull up the export settings. So I'm going to go more in depth in a lot of this because export settings is like really in depth. And I'm going to show you guys some of the different out export settings that you will use for YouTube, Instagram. It's so many different ones, but the default one that pretty much you will use the most would be H264 because uh, you have all these you can create you know animated gifs and all type of stuff um, but you what you want to focus on is the output name so you know you will click there <clears throat> you can change the name here and you always you know it's already in the render folder so you know you can just decide where you want to take it you know where you want to put it I want to put in the render folder uh, so then I hit save and now I will go down I will hit render at maximum depth so so that just gets all of the quality and then you have used maximum render quality It's going to use your renderer on your device or your computer to try to get you the best quality it can get you uh, and then you just hit export you know I'm gonna go through Q and things like that you know and show you guys a little bit more in depth when it comes to that but you can go to export and then export and now you're ready to go all right guys that's it in the nutshell real quick now you kind of got a better understanding of what premiere pro 2020 has and some of the things that you're going to be looking forward to in future tutorials so look have fun like i told you you always can click that undo button and like i said self-talk creative that's what you are that's what you are and i'm here to help you with that so you guys please like i say like subscribe comment man look I'm new to this. I need all the support I can get, but I'm here to support you as well. So don't forget that. Don't forget that. Us creators, we are in this together. And I look forward to having more time with you self-creators. So you guys have a good one. Stay blessed.